Okay, this is just going to be uh, the first in the series of an overview video of um, services that were rendered to a customer's product and sort of explain the, uh, the, the process of how we got there. So the customer had a, a two-piece split front MAV. They originally contacted me, uh, or I contacted them, because I had uh, these rep reproduction split front MAV, um, like adapter cover things. Tactical Taylor used to make them, obviously they're way out of production and they're just pieces that uh, I can manufacture. So I had some, I had some in stock and the, the customer bought both. And the customer reported to me that uh, they were looking at uh, having the zip or the, uh, the Velcro here extended further out so they could fit their uh, troop commander's aid memoir and or map down inside the, the pocket horizontally. So. What I ended up doing is I made them a, a prototype piece that was patterned off of uh, this rig, this size right here, and it's a, a zippered insert. So the zippered insert I made for the customer, um, I made it in obviously not the right pattern because this one is one that I'm going to keep as a prototype. And uh, what I do to my zippered inserts, uh, I, I like to put two... I like to put Velcro first off so I can mount whatever, right? IR patch or uh, some swag. But I, I do it with um, Molly Velcro right here, or at least two two inch sections. And that's to clip a push to talk. And that's, you know, on your torso, either left or right, right about where you'd want a, a push to talk to be. So it's not up on your shoulders. Um, and uh, as sort of a little added extra, I, I made the customer two of these little drop down thingies and said you know we can add these if you want try it out if you want to remove it I mean just cut cut the stitching and take it out so this one is sized to hold a six inch protractor this little flat pocket and this one here is sized to hold a Stadler case that's cut down you know to hold um, your, your Stadler markers and then in you know, a four additional pen sharpie or, or Stadler or pencil uh, holders there so unfortunately, or fortunately rather, this product did not fit the customer's mouth. And so that sort of left me in a bit of a state of confusion because I patterned it off of, you know, a tactical tailored two-piece MAV that to my knowledge has not had any service done to it in this area. And what we found was that the, the customer's MAV, um, the way it was stitched, sewing tolerances can be such that um, Basically, they they came in and sewed down on these uh, molly loops here, not just straight across. They came straight across and then down, and that took what was like an eight-inch opening and shortened it to five. So obviously, the the customer's uh, piece didn't fit, or the uh, the prototype piece didn't fit. So we ended up taking the rig fully apart. Right, we cut all the seams here, took all all the straps off, and just looked looked inside to find out that that was the the actual issue. And um, obviously, we we rectified that when we put it back together. We put it back together around these two uh, inserts that um, I made um, in order to provide the customer exactly what what they were looking for. So. These inserts are, are even, they're about half an inch wider than, than the prototype that I made because I found the prototype was, was a, little, a little harder to get a map in and out of. Okay, and this one does not have the, uh, the pieces that come down. Uh, those sort of hamper a map going in and out. It'd be fine for like an aid memoir. But, um, I mean, there you see, we got a, a map, you know, it's folded six or eight times and it goes right in. We got the same Velcro with uh, loops for push to talk. And I mean, just to talk through a bit of philosophy of use, um, on zippered products that I make, and I know other companies are like this, um, they always put two sliders. So e even if, let's say, you run your sliders down here and you only use the one to open it up and one to close it, and you don't use it as um, a purse purse style zipper on the top 
Having two sliders means that if one slider fails and gets ripped off, you always still have a second slider. So that comes into redundancy, right? Two is one and one is none. And so everything zipper that I make, where possible, I will always run two sliders. Sliders have had the, the metal uh, pull tabs removed, so they're silent. And instead they have paracord with one and a quarter inch heat shrink, overhand knot at the top and sealed. Okay, and then when we close the rig, we used a you know standard single needle lock stitch uh, walking foot sewing machine. But then we came back with an electronic programmable tacker. And we tacked all of the the parts on the rig that could be exposed to high wear or high forces. Okay? And in that way this this rig in terms of the the straps that come out of it uh, and the opening is now stronger than when it left the factory. Um so the customer got two of those obviously. Uh, for the customer, I also put a, uh, a one-inch section of loop Velcro here for a standard uh, Canadian Armed Forces six-inch name tag. And we also, uh, so the customer had uh, gun tape, green army duct tape around the, uh, the excess straps. I offered a solution of these one and a half inch elastic uh, retainers. So those are available. They may still want to use gun tape just to make sure that this never comes out. But I mean, it looks a little cleaner. And then just some of the uh, some of the extras that we're putting in here, we've got the uh, cat size. Okay, so two cat size there right now in the covert position. We're gonna hook him up with a uh, little neck buff that I make, and send him on the way with a prototype sling. Uh, these are obviously in current production now. This is just a prototype I loan out to see if uh, end users are interested in uh, in getting one. Try before you buy. Okay, so that's the end of this uh, overview of services video, and uh, look forward to future videos.